Hi, Makiva. Yeah, I'm so excited to talk to you today about olive oil. It is one of the best ingredients I know. It is the perfect combination of delicious and healthy. And there's just a lot of confusion around it, I find. I get a lot of questions about it. So I'm excited to clear some of that up today. Um, so basically, there are two kinds of olive oil. There's extra virgin olive oil. And that olive oil is really robust in flavor. It adds so much flavor to food. So when you think extra virgin olive oil, think flavor, right? And it's almost like wine because different extra virgin olive oils have different taste profiles. So it's really fun to experiment with different ones and, and explore this whole world. Um, extra virgin olive oil is great for dressings, for dipping, for finishing dishes, but you can also cook with it. And it's a myth. Many people think you can't, but you absolutely can saute with it. You can bake with it. So that's extra virgin olive oil. So then the other kind of olive oil is regular olive oil. And oftentimes, you'll see it in the store labeled as pure olive oil or classic. Um, but all those names basically mean regular olive oil. And it's more uh, mild in flavor. Um, so it's a little more neutral in flavor. Um, it's more economical. It also takes even a higher heat. So it's great for grilling. And we're in grilling season, so that's perfect for now to keep in mind for grilling. Also great for roasting, for example. Um, but both olive oils, any kind of olive oil that you buy, is rich in monounsaturated fat. And that is fat that is good for your heart. Um, so it's wonderful to just substitute olive oil for any fat in your recipes. It can substitute for any other oil. It can also substitute for butter, for example. So when you're substituting it for butter, just use 25% less. So if it's a cup of butter in the typical recipe, just use 3 quarters of a cup of olive oil and you're making your recipe immediately that much healthier. Now, any olive oil that you buy is rich in monounsaturated fat, but extra virgin has the added benefit of antioxidants. So I have a couple of recipes to show you here that I basically use um, two kinds of olive oil, so it really demonstrates what I'm talking about. This is a farro recipe, a whole grain farro, and I just cooked that and cooled it. You could use quinoa here if you want, for example, if you want to change that up. But I grilled these vegetables. Um, I brushed them with the regular olive oil, then grilled them up, chopped them, and I mixed them with tomatoes and herbs. And then for the dressing, I used the extra virgin olive oil and a little lemon juice, salt and pepper. And you see, this is how it all comes together so beautifully like this. And this is great as a side dish. I sometimes do um, grilled fish or grilled chicken on top of there. Another recipe I have is the savory yogurt plate. You basically just spread some yogurt um, on a plate and then I put on top of there roasted radishes. Now that's something different, maybe you never tried before. You just toss the radishes with the regular olive oil and roast them at 450 for like 15 minutes. And then I arrange them on top of the yogurt with some cucumber and mint and lime or lemon zest and then um, drizzle that with the extra virgin olive oil. And then you're getting that beautiful, beautiful quality. It just feels so luxurious and has fabulous taste. A little salt and pepper on there. Now, a really important tip is to store your olive oil properly. So many people keep it by the stove. Don't do that. You want to keep your uh, olive oil in a cool, dry place and make sure that lid is on tight and then it's going to stay at high quality um, for two to three months. So only buy as much as you need for that amount of time and make sure you store it right. So for more information for these recipes, a lot more as well, um, especially on the blog, go to aboutoliveoil.org.